The final answers of the applicant to uh, questions asked, speech of the academic supervisor, no more than three minutes, a five-minute discussion before the open voting procedure on uh, awarding or not awarding the academic degree to the applicant, open individual voting, and the chairman shall count the votes and results shall be recorded in the minutes of the meeting. A decision on awarding or not awarding the SPBU academic degree to the applicant, uh, closing remarks of the applicant in more than two minutes. Before we start the uh, program, uh, let me remind you to switch off your mobile phones. So we're being uh, broadcast online, so the call may interrupt. And uh, if for those unaware, let me inform you that our meeting is being recorded and broadcast online at a university website, and the speeches are being simultaneously translated from Russian into English or from English into Russian. So if no one has any questions or comments, uh, let me proceed to item one. Yes my summary report on the documents. The thesis by Diakhov Mikhail Yurevich for the degree of candidate of technical sciences, specialty 05-1311, mathematical and programming support of computers, complexes, and computer networks on the theme, specialized string and computer libraries for systems of vector graphics dynamic visualization was accepted for defense by the order of the academic secretary of St. Petersburg University on the 23rd of October 2019. The dissertation council was appointed by the order of the academic secretary of St. Petersburg University on the 24th of October 2019. And I have already introduced its members to you, dear colleagues. The applicant submitted the following documents to the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University. An application to the Rector of St. Petersburg University, Professor Kropachev, to accept the dissertation for consideration and defense, submitted on the 17th of June, 2019, a review by the academic supervisor, Matrosov Alexander Vasilovich, Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, Professor of the Mission Systems Department of St. Petersburg University a list of seven publications which describe the main scientific results of the thesis, including two uh, publications and journals, including the list approved by the Ministry of Education and Science, and uh, in journals indexed uh, in scientometric databases. The Science and Scopus, two publications. A certificate on passing the candidate examination uh, dated uh, 17th of June 2019, issued by St. Petersburg University, that Arechov Mikhail Yurich has passed the exams uh, specialty 05 13 11, mathematical and programming support of computers, complexes, and computer networks. Mathematical and programming support of computers, complexes, and computer networks. Excellent. History and philosophy of science, technical sciences, good, uh, excellent. Foreign language, uh, excellent. Diploma uh, number 3352505 issued on the 28th of February 2009 at St. Petersburg State Electrotechnical University named after Ulyan of Lenin, certifying that Ariadne Mikhail Yurich was awarded qualification engineer in information systems and technology by the decision of the State Administration Commission on the 13th of February 2009. The thesis in Russian and in English on paper on the rights of manuscript and in the electronic form. I have the thesis here with me, so if anyone wants to see it, I have it here. It uh, should be noted that all the documents listed above comply with Clause 12, Section 3, Thesis Presentation and Defense of the Procedure for Awarding Academic Degrees at St. Petersburg University. If no one has any questions or comments concerning this list, let me give the floor to the applicant. Uh, you have 15 minutes maximum. Thank you.
Dear colleagues, the topic of my speech is specialized screen and container libraries for systems of vector graphics dynamic visualization. I will start my speech with a brief description of the relevance of my work. So, the design of a complex technological object such as a nuclear plant unit requires verification through simulation. This requirement actualizes the task of developing training and simulation complexes in the process of designing the simulation object. The visualization and calculation management system, as one of the tools for solving this problem, must meet the following conditions. Support of vector graphic two-dimensional schemes of an open text format reflecting the complexity of the modeling object with a large number of units of interacting equipment. Support of uncertainty of structure of tiles and properties of the simulated sub-objects caused by numerous changes brought as a result of modeling the cost of designing. To comply with the first condition, the visualization system should provide application of a large number of types of graphic objects, editing of saturated schemes and operation in large namespaces of simulated parameters. To comply with the second condition, the visualization system should support development of custom types of graphic objects with a variable set of properties and rules of dynamic behavior. The consideration of those circumstances determines the necessity to represent vector graphic objects as a flexible structure with a variable set of properties. A flexible structure here means a container of different types of elements with a string index ser serialized into a sequence of pairs, name, attribute, uh, equals value. This approach simplifies development and maintenance of the visualization system. Such flexible structure means uh, to enable internet reservation management of simulated parameters, the visualization system must meet high performance and reliability requirements. The uh, uh, means of developing it must meet same conditions. The speed of flexible structures critically depends on the speed of passing text definitions of graphic objects as well as the speed of searching for a string key in the container. The key to the safe use of flexible structures is protection against memory release errors, date set iteration, indexing errors. Having allocated the key parameters of effective use of flexible structures, let's enumerate problems of their realization by means of available means presented in popular libraries STL and QT. At the same time, we will consider a complex of the technical solutions allowing to rely reliable and pass flexible structures. Let us turn to the problems of line processing. High speed of stream processing requires minimizing the cost of stream type conversion. When using the string type as the main argument type of string functions, these costs are formed of frequent calls to dynamic memory to place a shared uh, buffer string and the necessity to copy symbolic data when constructing a string from C string and literal. Within the framework of the STA library string, the cost of the program can be minimized by implementing its own allocator, an alternative way of allocating memory for this uh, shared buffer string. This approach has several limitations. Thus, the simplest, most popular and reliable to implement distribution strategies like stack pooling are not suitable for placing objects like shared bath string because these objects differ both in size and creation time. Moreover, using an alternative allocator does not eliminate the need to copy character data when constructing a string from the C string and literal. Not as important is the fact that the instantaneous objects of the base STL string template with different types of allocators can exchange data only through deep copying. The string system of QT library is a uh, means of minimizing the cost of both groups. Uh, this, uh, however, this type cannot dynamic memory and copying characters. However, this type cannot be used as the main string function or argument type, since it allows the Q string uh, object as a pointer to a Q string object and has no C string constructor. As a part of my thesis, the idea of QT string system developers find its way into using the reference type substring as the mainstream function argument type. The substring object as a thin wrapper stores the address of the character array and the length of the array. Constructing the substring object is copying the address of an array but not the whole array and calculating its length if it's not possible or passed as an argument, thus using substring in text passing procedures does not involve a dynamic memory at all. 
The string type of a specialized library has a separable buffer generated by the substring. Thus, transforming the substring to, uh, is reduced to the transfer of reference of its own buffer, which is expressed by the minimum number of assembly instructions. To test the performance of string comparisons, we use a function that compares two string arguments, which may be C strings, string type objects and their fragments. In this example, the function gets a fragment of a string type object and a literals with the same character. The text has a complex character as it allows to find out display of both ex expenses of frequent references to their memory and expensive copying the symbols. This graph shows the test results obtained from, uh, for the developed string class and uh, uh, marked in red and its analogs from STL and QT. They stack a la curve as a result of an STL line equipped with uh, the MemGap curve characterizing the minimum possible duration of comparison of these characters through a low level function of the standard uh, library. It should be emphasized that this function is used both by methods of comparison the developed string class and by methods of comparison comparing the STL string class. However, the manifestation of the described cost provides an observable difference in the results. Principles of designing a specialized string library have a general character and can be formulated in the form of thesis of development methodology. The methodology includes stages, design of reference type substring, design from C strings and substring, implementation of C string and substring conversion tools to substring, implementation of string processing functions that use substrings and argument type. Optimal setting of the application of built-in compi compi compiler functions in string processing functions. Uh, develop a string type with separate but generated from substring. The key difference of this method from other approaches is its inversion. The method is based on the use of the reference type substring, which is usually entered after the type string or not entered at all. The other stages of the methodology implement infrastructure of this type of application within the framework of a string library. Let's turn to the problem of implementation of flexible structure container. Let me recall that the flexible structure is an associated container of different types of elements with a string index. The container here combines a list of data storage and a set of index tables, dictionaries that sort the list items according to given uh, criteria. Let's list the problems and implementations of the container by means of STL and QT libraries. Lists and dictionaries of STL and QT libraries are, uh, use auxiliary data structures like Node to implement in their own elements. The size of nodes and lists do not coincide, which contributes to the fragmentation of dynamic memory, then moving the container with a large number of elements. If the container list stores data objects, the con constructors of its nodes copy the original objects. If the list stores po uh, pointers to data objects can, uh, are created for memory release, uh, at the same time, the possibility of implicit data destruction without the help of these, uh, these methods creates preconditions for index errors, which index tables start addressing the destroyed data. STL and QT libraries lists and use uh, iterators of STL types. Such iterators store a point to the data structure node. The implicit destruction of the node makes the uh, usage impossible, unpredictable. The ratio of search in the dictionary is determined by its theoretical efficiency and by the efficiency of software and hardware caching, by the possibility of storing the identifier of the uh, last found key, as well as the cost of bypassing the dictionary. For this reason, the search time in a compact data structure is less than the search time in a, in a balance tree and a list of passes used in STL and QT dictionaries. Within the framework of my thesis, the following ways of solving the problems are presented. Functionality of the node of the two coordinated lists is encapsulated in the base of in inheritance of elements of the container. Uh, of the node type applications are copying the creation of elements of the container. It also prevents memory release errors from it. The index tables form a ring list around the data list, which ensures consistency of their contents. Any modification of the list is reflected in the corresponding update of the index tables. To prevent the iteration errors, the container blocks its own modifications for the duration of constant iteration. It re reaches non cost iter and enable them to edit their positions when the container size changes. The implementation of an index table 
uses the element restructure, a solid ordered array of pointers to the data list elements, which allows minimizing the search time due to the possibility of uh, storing the index of the last found element, as well as localized placement of the list and index tables on the memory pages. To test the search performance of the container, we use a loop for searching a string key sequence, where each element is searched for several times in a row. The test is complex in nature as it allows to detect the cost of multiple search for each element of the, con of the container. This graph shows the test results obtained for the development container class and is uh, marked in red and its analogs uh, and uh, corresponding commercial lists. Uh, this graph shows the time of multiple searches in a solid ordered array is much less than the time of search in a red and black tree. And the list that passes is in STL and QT libraries. The principles of designing a specialized container library are of general nature and can be formulated as thesis of development methodology. The methodology includes stages, encapsulation of functionality of the node of the two linked list in the inherent databases of container elements, encapsulation of functionality of an automatically registered ring uh, list node in the in, in the database of an index table at non constant iterator, implementation of the data list supporting the registration, implementation of the index table based on solid, a solid ordered array uh, with a search function and design sorting and filtering conditions. A few words about the application of flexible structures and visualization system implementation. The application of reliable and fast flexible structures provides visualization system with the following technical characteristics. Dynamic display of vector graphic seams with high screen refresh rate exceeding F uh, 50 FPS. Short time of passing and generation of text definitions of graphic objects, including in short time of reading and writing saturated skins more than 1,000 objects, which is about a uh, half second. Short time to connect so to si simulated parameters, data sources for dynamic display. The following functionalities have been implemented for the visualization system. There is circuit editing operations supported. Editing operations are also supported in the dynamic display mode, which requires high reliability of the structures. Otherwise, the visualization system would lose its performance due to the manifestation memory leaks or the calculated part would deter errors in it, due to the damage of its data by the visualization system due to the uh, manifestation of errors. Uh, the uh, possibility of developing themes, graphic objects, and groups of their properties in corresponding uh, sub-editors uh, has been implemented. Uh, so, this, so we see the uh, managing uh, catalogs of uh, videos and graphical files. Uh, the possibility of cascade updating is supported in the dynamic display mode, which requires high speed of flexible structures. Uh, possibility of right, uh, it would be uh, visual dynamic uh, dis display. Otherwise, it would be more convenient and appropriate to restart visualization system to detect the changes mode. The possibility of writing scripts in the internal environment of the editor, uh, is, uh, internal data sources for dynamic display. This uh, few words is, uh, specialized library catalogs. Uh, specialized string and container libraries were developed within the framework of the project Virtual Power Unit of NPP of the presidential program, development of subcomput supercomputers and grid technologies. One of the tasks of the project was to check the apparatus functions of the virtual block control panel using video frames of the design APS of LNPP2 power unit within the complex. Application of specialized libraries in development of visualization program, multifunctional video frame editor allowed to solve the task in time. MVR is an integral part of PTC web. The later was a number of uh, in number of implementations, among which we can name the use of, of the package of design documents for the Hanke uh, the One Power Unit. In uh, 2015, the uh, editor received a certificate of registration for computer program. Uh, the work is currently on the way to develop, uh, further develop the editor and expand its functionality. This concludes my presentation, and I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Mikhail Yurevich. Let's proceed to discussion. Uh, do council members have any questions or comments uh, which they did not include in their uh, reviews?
please go to application. What are the minimum conditions for the use of suggested approach? Uh, you mentioned power unit, and then you uh, talk about libraries. In my thesis, as instrumental instrument uh, the instrument uh, for implementation of visualization system which can be used for visualization of calculation of modeling tasks so uh, what are other spheres of application what could be if uh, so I want to understand do I need this system or not should I use your method or not, or is it domain oriented? So, what are the rules? Which what what rules could there be? Uh, it's hard to suggest any rules uh, at once. Uh, so, how how should I uh, understand? So, I'm here. I'm talking about information representation. So it's necessary to understand what sources of information there are. Dear colleagues, uh, working in remote mode, do you have any comments or questions that you did not include in your reviews? Do we have? And? I don't. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? colleagues in remote mode? Obviously they don't have questions or comments. Let us proceed to the reviews. We don't have any external reviews. We didn't receive any external reviews. So we shall hear the reviews of the members of the Dissertation Council. First we shall give the floor to Professor Terikov. I didn't have any questions like who needs this because all uh, is, uh, I was invited to join the dissertation council on a theme which is very close to my uh, I present my doctoral thesis the, sub the subject of my doctoral thesis was very close uh, since uh, 2012 I've been working in this sphere so uh, some years ago uh, we had similar tasks uh, we need to see how quickly we can display a complex structure out of 10,000 objects and then we use different technologies for that in Java Qt and and we understand how complicated this task is to do it quickly. And here, this uh, the uh, applicant is dealing even with a more complex task. The applicant uh, promises is 50 uh, images per second. So one fiftieth fraction of a second, you represent several thousand objects. Uh, display several thousand objects, which is very complicated. Is and uh, otherwise, it will take a long time. Uh, so, I uh, read uh, the thesis with great interest. It was very interesting for me to learn what my colleagues are doing and what new methods they're using, different from what we are using. And uh, I enjoyed it very much. And if you allow me, I'll let, I will go straight to my comments and my questions. First of all, the, I think the title uh, is uh, does not display re calculation results, but uh, not that degree. And second, uh, the uh, says that visualization could not have been developed using the available means. Can this statement be substantiated? And the third question is with uh, with, with V construct. Uh, so you look at the uh, at the uh, pictures with QT and STL. But uh, uh, my question is, how can you justify this? And uh, so someone who knows STL and QT could apply other methods. So today your results 
look very impressive. I was very impressed. But how can you substantiate? Uh, so well, how do you, can you prove that you you've uh, chosen the best parameters? So of course it's so these are very minor professional only minor professional comments. And once again, I'd like to say that I was very impressed by the thesis. And let me read. Uh, the thesis by uh, Mikhail Ryavon, special stream and container libraries for systems of vector graphics, dynamic visualization meets the basic requirements uh, or the order of uh, uh, mathematical and software computers, complex and computer networks. And the applicant uh, deserves uh, the degree of candidate of technical sciences, uh, uh, Dr. Professor Terikov. Is that all? That's, that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you, Andrei Nikolaevich. Uh, so we shall uh, time to answer. The comments will be in the end. Now I will give the floor to Professor Vodyanov. Uh, I've never done this correctly, so I'm uh, speaking here as a potential user. So who's, uh, of this work is of interest to whom? Uh, it's interesting to an architect who has software engineer, has to uh, uh, make a decision, has several alternatives, uh, whether to use or not to use. The sphere of application of such technology is, uh, get, is uh, growing wider uh, and uh, you may have different tasks. At, uh, so maybe you can you have to produce 50 images per second, or maybe you have so much money, or maybe you have to do this until the end of the year. So the more alternatives you have, uh, the more uh, freedom the designer has, the engineer has. So what has the author done, or maybe what? So of course the author wanted. Uh, was a clear in, in uh, for whom, uh, for a software engineer uh, with which hardware at what speed uh, can uh, can be obtained uh, but this is very complex so so first you have to uh, come up with the idea and then test it so maybe that's that can be the theme of another research so the first part was very good so now of, of course there are some uh, so I think well, uh, other researchers will follow, and then the life of software engineer will become easier. So generally speaking, I think this is a very good thesis, uh, and this fear of uh, such needs is uh, increasing uh, constantly, and the parameters are becoming tougher or, or changing all the time. So let me proceed to my comment, uh, comments. I have three comments. The text of the, of the thesis contains a large number of professional terms. Uh, which makes it more difficult to perceive. Uh, that's my personal. Uh, so this is on a personal uh, note. Uh, so what do all these? What is mean? Yeah, second, in the section of relevance of work, it would be appropriate to give examples justifying why this development can and should be used for displaying information uh, in this uh, subject domain. And third, thirdly, giving more examples of implementation. And the present solution uh, would be uh, uh, undoubted merit of the thesis. But uh, of course we understand that any solution uh, is associated with a particular uh, development. In general, the theme by Mikhail Yuri in the uh, theme specialized screen and container libraries for systems of vector graphics, dynamic visualization, meets the uh, basic requirements set by the order of the 1st of September 2016, number 68, 21-1. On the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And the candidate deserves the degree of candidate of technical sciences. Specialty uh, 051311 mathematics and, and uh, software computers, complexes, and computer networks. Signed uh, by Diakha Alexander Ivanovich, <laughs> Professor of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Electrotechnical University named after Ulyana. Thank you, Alexander Ivanovich. Uh, let's proceed to reviews of, from our colleagues uh, working in uh, remote mode. Uh, we shall start with Professor Dekterov. 
Здравствуйте. Я э, изначально Hello? хочу сказать, почему like я в удаленном режиме, к сожалению, я не могу принять участие в uh, физическом состоянии без сломанной руки, поэтому, uh, к сожалению, мне so приходится to... озвучивать свой отзыв в удаленном so режиме. So uh, 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 работу Михаила Юрьевича я уже uh, the thesis знаю, by Михаил Юрьевич, I know quite well. Я первый раз с ней познакомился, наверное, года два тому made, назад. Uh, two two были ago. некоторые замечания. And at that time I had some comments. Надо отметить, что And I must say за that время, которое the, ну, прошло до подачи официальной работы, она очень серьезно прибавила с точки зрения строительства и ясного изложения полученных результатов. Потому results, что до этого, uh, в принципе, было сделано ну, примерно точно то же самое, но было только сумбурно. But the presentation was not very clear. представляет из себя классическую систему по 5, 13, 11, то есть представлена разработка шаблонов, development of architectural patterns, которые потом реализованы либо в библиотеках, либо в и нового инструментария. И uh, самое главное, что uh, это important. не есть какие-то uh, абстрактные so, вещи, классы, uh, которые непонятно где uh, применять, uh, а uh, 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 очень sure яркое be, but... и uh, понятное uh, приложение. Uh, Особенно в той сфере, в которой где работает Михаил Юрьевич, то есть в отдельном и программном обеспечении, я присоединяюсь ко многим I, к тем замечаниям, have, которые были сделаны до меня двумя моими коллегами. Своим, ну, and как бы замечания, которые сделаны в моей, моем отзыве, ну, примерно review, того же. Ну, вот первое мое замечание, встречается очень большое количество нераспространенных страниц, несмотря на имеющиеся в работе, Because you, you have to keep the list at hand all the time. So I always had your list of abbreviations. Second, this section practical significance provides information that works on creation of a complex are part of the presidential program development of supercomputers and great technologies. And, um, and then they work further, it doesn't mention at all, with the logical to assign more applications of its development within the large Program in chapter four. Uh, I understand that you have the results, but the presentation maybe the author thought it's not important to include it, so he focused more on the results, uh, not the results on the application. And the, in the, there's no reference to the operating system in which the development was carried out. So the scope of the ability of developed libraries is not fully understand, is not easy to understand. Which is quite similar to the previous comments made by previous comments by Alexander Ivanovich. So we are not clear how this can be applied. So what are the frames? So the frames of application are not, the sphere of application is not there, but uh, still I believe this is a very good thesis, and my comments do not affect the overall high impression of the, of the thesis. And uh, many, uh, so that's why let me read the closing part of my review. believe that the thesis uh, by Mikhail Yurchenikov, uh, special Austrian container libraries, systems of vector graphics, dynamic visualization, meets the basic requirements established by the order of the 1st of September 2016, number 6821-1, the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg State University. And the applicant, Mikhail Yurevich, deserves a degree of uh, candidate of technical sciences 
по специальности 0, 11, 0, 5, 11, 0, 5, 11, программное обеспечение вычислительных машин, комплексов и компьютерных сетей. Uh, подпись член диссертационного uh, uh, совета so, профессор Кайфа многопроцессорных систем, доктор технических uh, наук Александр uh, Борисович Дегтярев. Uh, Александр Борисович Дегтярев. Thank you, Александр Борисович. And the last review uh, from Professor Kleeman. Professor Kleeman, please. The thesis. Good, a lot of good work. Let me explain. The implementation of results of the thesis. The and I was very happy. The work was implemented. And the results were actually uh, used at a power plant. In the documentation package for the power unit. So I have a positive opinion of this thesis. And I have three, but I have three minor comments. First comment. The volume of the first chapter exceeds some of the other chapters of the thesis. Second, present the performance scores and results obtained. For a rather old version of compiler. A third comment would be more appropriate from the point of view of the material presentation uh, to move the formulation of thesis or development methods to the beginning of the corresponding chapters in order to proceed from them when describing the uh, implementation. But these comments do not change the role of positive impression of Mikhail Yurevich Orekov's thesis. The thesis by Mikhail Yurevich specialized strings and container libraries for systems of vector graphics. Dynamic visualization meets the basic requirements established on the 1st of September 2016. Uh, order 6821. The order awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And the applicant, Alekhov Mikhail Yurevich, deserves a degree of candidate of technical sciences. Specialty 051311. Mathematics, software, computers, complexes, and computer networks. Thank you. Signed. Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences. Institute of Physics of Slovak Academy of Sciences. Thank you, Jan. And let me proceed to the last review uh, done by me. I also know this work quite well, quite, uh, so we've discussed it many times. This theme is uh, interesting for me as a user because we've done some projects. The first one, first one was done for uh, aerospace industry and for our shipbuilding cooperation and in this sense I understand how the results can be applied and the application presented here described here is very impressive and the thesis uh, makes a very good positive very strong positive impression but as always uh, we I still have some uh, comments and uh, my two comments are my first comment is uh, I know approximately uh, the situation in the uh, aerospace and shipbuilding industry, but I don't know 
uh, what uh, the situation in the uh, nuclear sector, but I know that, uh, that when such a thesis is done, it would be good to see in the introduction on which platform it developed. Uh, is there any competition or is this the first one? Some reference system would be useful. My second question is, as uh, one of their main uh, tasks of increasing uh, efficiency of the system, but there's no integral I integral system of how to uh, assess efficiency and uh, how it was improved at 20 percent or 50 percent. But of course, uh, the thesis would be uh, would look much better if such assessment has been performed. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, I think the thesis is uh, makes a very good contribution about to methodology and uh, to specific uh, research in, a, but in its sphere, in its field, and it meets all the basic requirements uh, set forth uh, on the 1st of September 2016 on the order of awarding academic degrees in Petersburg University. And the candidate, Ariyeho Mikhail Yurevich, deserves the degree of candidate of technical sciences, uh, specialty 051311, mathematics and, com and co so sort of computers, complex and computer networks. Uh, uh, clause 11 of the order has not been violated by the applicant. Uh, following our procedure, we should now proceed uh, to comments of the applicant, uh, to remarks and suggestions. You have 15 minutes for that. Uh, shall I start? Uh, can it be in any order? I will try to group the comments in several blocks. I will start uh, with listing the applications of uh, multifunctional editor, the multifunctional editor uh, uh, by his chief engineer, uh, where I work in the uh, research institute of Alexandrov, and to design for design uh, video images. Uh, multi-functional uh, used by uh, St. Petersburg Nuclear Project to design uh, nuclear power units in, in, in November. Uh, Moscow uh, Atom Tikhonerga bought a license to use this multifunctional editor, and until today I've been working on uh, well, the, uh, comp uh, the uh, document package for this. In my thesis, I mention application of multifunctional uh, of the editor, uh, uh, virtual nuclear uh, pro uh, energy Unit, uh, nuclear uh, unit development of the presidential program, and this application has been uh, mentioned in my thesis because it was the context uh, for developing this multifunctional editor and use of specialized libraries. So other examples of application uh, used in Pact Two uh, was per, uh, per, it was purchased by Moscow Atom Tikhonerga. Uh, so this happened while I, the work was already in progress. So that's why I did not mention this application in my thesis. Uh, next, uh, there was a question why the multifunctional editor cannot be uh, produced, developed using the existing means, with the existing tools. I would say uh, it can be developed uh, so during the time period, uh, reliability and of specialized libraries uh, made this uh, task for solving this task possible. So several months in the work of multifunctional editor, uh, we found a memory leakage. And uh, major part, uh, we uh, m m most of the time we spend looking for part of the QT library. QT library, the error uh, could not be diagnosed with the example of this with the means of this library. So the uh, system has uh, no inbuilt mechanisms to prevent memory leakage. So my second example is about uh, speed. Uh, speed of specialized libraries. Uh, the technical solutions can be implemented quickly and easily, and their uh, development time grows shorter. Presentation of some graphical objects, uh, plateau container, uh, 
of graphical re representation, transformation of uh, color and graphical attributes necessary to represent uh, objects, visualize for visualizational objects, is a high speed of comparison. Enable us uh, to go directly to container fields, which in other cases, in other cases would be otherwise it would be necessary to use uh, unreliable cache indicators and implement mechanisms uh, to actualize, uh, which would uh, increase the time of development and uh, the tuning time. Next, there was a question about optimal parameters used during uh, our tests. Let me start just by comparing the lines, uh, uh, two string arguments, uh, measuring the time of uh, comparing functions, uh, which take two string arguments of the same type, which are used uh, or can be used by the string system as the main and according to this principle, uh, comparing functions are implemented for the test members STL system and specialized uh, string library. And following this principle, the comparative function for uh, test participants QT system is implemented where a type of argument is, but uh, because of narrow applications of this type in the string QT system, uh, to, for uh, representation of literal, in, is, uh, we have to use QString uh, object. So we, we, this is done on purpose to emphasize that the concept of is used by developers of the uh, string system or uh, QT only partly. And while well, this uh, comment is true about other tests, so we uh, would stick to the principles of that all objects of the test are in, uh, equal. In other tests, we look at other uh, means for container libraries. And we represented the mean, uh, the best mean uh, results of uh, performing operations, the tasks. In my thesis, these tests are uh, uh, described as complex. By this, I wanted to emphasize that these uh, tests are typical for dynamic representation systems. And while well, the conditions, the testing conditions were similar to actual uh, field conditions. Now let me briefly answer the comment uh, of Alexander Vladimirovich about graphical libraries. I agree that <coughs> listing different types of graphical libraries uh, would be useful in my thesis. At the same time, I believe that the uh, detailed consideration of uh, specific graphical libraries beyond the scope of my thesis as the purpose of my work is not a choice of a graphic library, but development of uh, uh, for abstract representation of graphical attributes of, a, uh, of an object, uh, such deviation from the uh, uh, structure of graphical object's properties minimize costs of change of graphical platform. As for questions. Uh, so it's difficult to read the thesis because of many abbreviations and terms. I agree with this comment. It was quite hard uh, not to use many abbreviations uh, when uh, the very uh, object of the study, so maybe a compromise would be uh, making a glossary and uh, attaching this glossary to the thesis. Uh, as I understand, I uh, answered all the main uh, questions and comments. Uh, I have to ask members of the Council, are they satisfied with the answers, with the comments? Yes? I am not simply satisfied, but I may say that I I am following the same principle. I am uh, 30 years. I've been a, a director. So he always used my, my own uh, hardware for exactly the same reason. 
uh, if something breaks down uh, the time of delivery, so where, who should we complain to? So thank you. We should, let us proceed to the next uh, item on our agenda. Let me, I'll give the floor to Professor Matrosov. Dear colleagues, you uh, heard the presentation of Mikhail Yurevich. Uh, I met him but five years ago uh, as a doctoral student, uh, and he already had good, ready results. Uh, my task as his academic advisor uh, is, uh, was uh, well, very rewarding. I didn't have to push him. I didn't have to guide him. He knew himself what he has to do. What I assisted him with uh, repre re representation, uh, how to represent his results in the form so that other researchers can see what's what what uh, what he's doing and what he has achieved. Mikhail Yurevich is not is is an excellent uh, programmer. He understands uh, C compiler very well. Uh, he knows uh, it in depth, and so many so many questions or many issues. Of course, uh, he had to think, uh, but he has always done it, and he always obtained excellent results. And judging by your uh, comments. Uh, concerning his thesis, I also liked his thesis very much. And that is why I'd like to say that uh, so he's a, uh, an accomplished scientist. Uh, and over the, over the time he worked together, uh, he became a very accomplished young scientist, a very capable young scientist. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. So now uh, we have to have the uh, closed uh, discussion. Please stop online. Let us resume broadcasting. Uh, we shall continue our meeting and we will proceed to the official discussion of the results. I now put the awarding of the academic degree to the open individual vote. Let me remind you that the decision of the dissertation council shall be considered positive if more 
than a half, but not less than three members of the Council taking part in the meeting, vote for it according with Article 23 of the procedure for awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. Member of the Council, Professor Terehov, your opinion? I'm for. Awarding the degree. Council member, Professor Dekterev, your opinion? I am for awarding the degree. Council member, Professor Vadyakha, I am for awarding the degree. Council member, Professor Kliman, I am for. And I, uh, as a chairman of the council, I am joining. Uh, so, dear colleagues and guests, uh, let me announce that out of five members of the council members participating in the meeting, five voted for, no one voted against, and no one abstained. The decision to award the degree of Candidate of Technical Sciences Specialty 05-13-11, Mathematical and Programming Support of Computers, Complexes and Computer Networks, to Arekhov Mikhail Yurovich has been made. Uh, I would like, before uh, I congratulate the applicant, I have the opportunity to give the floor uh, to the applicant for his uh, closing remarks. If you want to add something or thank somebody, so you have the uh, well, two minutes for that. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I uh, did not prepare any speeches because I didn't know. I would like to thank everyone present, members of the council, and we have I have some guests who came to support me from uh, my company. Uh, thank you, dear colleagues. Uh, it's a very happy moment for me. Thank you. I declare the session closed. Thank you all for your participation. Please stop online broadcasting. Okay.